you just one, did it feel like that? And two, does it feel kind of a relief, kind of like kind of like winning a playoff game almost? Now you have one bowl. Yeah, I'd say it uh, feels like winning a playoff game. Just you know, seeing the look on everyone's faces after the game. Uh, everyone's exhilarated, uh, of course, because it's a big deal to maintain the tradition and expectations here at the University of Memphis um, to be at least uh, bowl eligible. So, I mean, uh, it felt like a playoff game too, I'd say, just, you know, win or go home mentality. So we put it all on the line, and I'm, I'm proud of our guys. What does it mean for you? I mean, being a freshman, you get to see the seniors just kind of have that, that joy in the locker room, you get to another bowl game. What does it mean for you just to kind of keep that streak going for them? Yeah, I mean, obviously all the younger guys uh, played for them tonight. I definitely played for the for the guys on offensive and defense side of the ball that I know have poured their heart and soul into this program. You know, the Sean Dykes's and Dylan Parham's and Calvin Austin's and J.J. Russell's. And, you know, the list goes on. All of our seniors this year are uh, incredible workers. And, I mean, they're leaders on this team. So just to be able to uh, go out there and put my body on the line and just do everything I could to help us come out victorious. Uh, it's a good feeling for me knowing I could do everything I could. And it's a good feeling knowing that uh, we got the dub tonight for those guys. So, yeah. so in a conversation I had with J.J. Russell before the season started, I asked him, I said, do you guys, like, if, if the freshman has to take over at quarterback, how do you think that they will go? And he said, that man is a young star. And so for him to say that, and then you just hear what you just accomplished, just kind of take me through what that means. Uh, you know, J.J., uh, sorry to go off your question, but he made that play at the end of the game. He recovered the onside. Um, and that was a huge play. And, I mean, he just made plays constantly throughout the game and throughout this season. Uh, and he just led us. And for him to say that about me, that make, that makes me happy, you know, just to know that uh, my work is recognized by an uh, older guy in the program. Uh, and obviously, I look up to him because I know he, he, what he's done and the work he's put in. So just to know that he feels that way about me uh, makes me pretty happy. Seth, you mentioned this, you know, freshman year, obviously this time last year, you're playing high school football. Now you wrap up your first regular season. What have you learned about Seth Pennington over this, over this season? I mean, I, I've learned a lot. I'd say I've learned to be a leader more. Uh, as the season's progressed, I was kind of quiet at first, obviously, because I didn't know what the situation would really be. And then uh, I played good. I played good enough to win games, you know, uh, and guys really responded to me. So I guess I'd say I, I learned to be a better leader uh, and learned what it takes to win games at the collegiate level versus high school. It's obviously very different. You know, everyone has to be locked in on their assignments to win games. And you can't turn the ball over as much. So I learned things both on the field and off the field that will uh, help me carry on till next season and, and beyond. So. Yeah, you know, uh, that's just the game of football, of course. Um, I wish I weighed a little bit more, you know, <laughs> to take those hits and not uh, bruise like a like a pear or like an apple, whatever the saying is. But, uh, you know, I have a little, little cuts on my hands, beat up hands, knees, scrape easily. But, I mean, at the end of the day, you're going to have injuries. So, uh, played through them pretty good tonight, and uh, we got the job done, so. At the end of the game, like when, when you're kneeling it out, you finish kneeling it out, it's everyone, you know, joy, relief. I don't know what that, I'm curious what that feeling was like leaving the field on the field. That exact, like what was going through your head and, and what you think was going through the whole team that uh, I mean, I just say the whole team was just exhilarated, uh, like I said. Um, going through my head, I was just happy we got out of there uh, with a win, you know. There's a lot of things that I need to do better and that we could have done better uh, offensively uh, just to execute and score more points. But, you know, we got the dub, and it's a learning process, so we'll just continue learning. Jeff, you had a, a, a free play stretch where you passed Ace and Martin for three catches for like 66 yards. <laughs> when you have a running back who can, you know, be a pass catcher like that for you, how easy does that make your job? Uh, it's obviously good to have a weapon like him. Uh, in the offense, just have that fifth option to catch the ball out of the backfield. All of our backs can do it, uh, but Asa, he has really good hands, and we can split him out. Um, 
So, you know, I just, he executed those plays. There's another play where I was rolling out to the right and I was supposed to throw it back to him, uh, but I could, I lost him in my vision. So then I like took a sack or something. So that, that would have been another big play to him. But we got him loose a little tonight and he made plays for us. So I'm just happy for him. You know, he's another guy that he's just put a lot of work into our program. So just to see him have success uh, makes me happy because we have a pretty good connection, I'd say. Yeah, I'd say that's just a testament to our depth, you know, in the receiver room and running back room. I don't know how many backs had catches, but uh, we have a lot of guys that can go out there and play on on Saturdays. So that's a good feeling, you know. Wish I would have got Calvin a little, more, a little bit more active. I missed a couple balls to him. Um, so, you know, it's no excuses to not get the ball to him because he's our most electric player, I'd say. But, uh, you know, just having a bunch of guys to be able to get the ball to, that's, that's a good feeling as a quarterback. Yeah, I'd say, uh, you know, once those guys are gone, just to step into that role a little bit more, uh, just be more vocal, because I've been trying to lead by example, um, but I need to be more vocal to my teammates, I'd say, and that'll just help grow our bond closer, you know, and help us play better on Saturdays. So that's the main thing I'd say as far as that. Um, but, yeah, just to know that they, they look up to me and I look up back to them. Uh, and we just reciprocate that feeling, so um, that just shows how close we are, I guess. So as you guys now get a chance to get in that bowl game, obviously, if this felt like a playoff game, what is the bowl game going to feel like, you think? Um, you know, last game of the season, you just got to put everything on the line, like, say championship in high school, I guess. <laughs> uh, I, I, would, I would say it's way more important than that, though, of course, uh, at a higher level, more stakes on the line. Um, but, you know, just put everything on the line because you'll have the off season to rest. So put your body on the line, pour everything you can into uh, the preparation for whoever it is we're playing, and then we'll see where it takes us. They said this is more, more stakes than being a two-state playoff game in your high school? Yes, I definitely say so. And you got a preference man, Hawaii, Frisco, and going home, going, going across the season? Uh, that's, that's a good question. You know, I'm just happy that we're going to a bowl. Uh, <laughs> If I had a preference, I'd say Hawaii, though, you know. <laughs>